Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. It's Allison with the Everyday Scrapbooker and today I am sharing with you a really fun stamping technique. It's, I don't know the technical term for it. I just know what I call it and I'm calling it the overlapped letter stamped alpha title. <laughs> I'm sure there's something way simpler that it's called this particular technique, but this is what I'm calling it. All you need to do it is a couple of light colored inks. You can use any inks that you want. I am using Close to My Heart Canary, Sweet Leaf, Mint, and Wisteria. I do believe there's four different colors. And the title that I'm creating is quite short. It's only four letters. It's going to be Girl. And it's really simple to do. So you're going to start with any color, whatever color you want. I started with Canary and stamped the first letter and then moved on to the second letter, stamped it in a different color, but I made sure I overlapped it, overlapped the first letter and then filled up the third alpha with whatever color I wanted and continued on that way, making sure to overlap each letter until the word that I created or words was done. And like I mentioned earlier, the title that I created is Girl. I had actually wanted to make a longer title and uh, in the beginning I had actually stamped Daughter and then decided not to use it. I probably could have, but in the end, I think this worked out way better, and so I ran with it. I put daughter into my scraps. You'll actually see it on another layout coming out, coming up if you follow me on my blog. If you don't, I will leave the link to it in the description box down below this video, so you can go check that out. It's not going to be on my blog for a couple more days. Um, but in the meantime, feel free to swing by and check it out. So I started by trimming down a piece of uh, white cardstock to 11 and a half by 11 and a half inches and then matted it on a piece of black cardstock. The next thing I did, which you saw me earlier do, saw me do earlier, my word, it's, I'm a little out of touch. I think it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. I'm tripping over my words. I flipped over the strip of paper that I'm just attaching to the layout base right now and used it as a guide to mark out where you see the splatters are. I didn't want splatters to be on the side of the pattern paper that's facing up. So I flipped it over, did the splattering that I wanted to do, dried it off, and then attached the pattern paper thusly. I also matted my photo on some yellow pattern paper that was in my stash. I used some foam squares to pop it up before, but before actually adhering it to the layout base, I had to add some thread. Of course, right? If you know me, you know I love my sewing thread. So that's what I'm doing right now. I also want to point out the flowers that you see on the layout base. I went off camera and stamped these flowers on a piece of um, extra white cardstock. I colored them in using my Spectrum Noir markers and then I fussy cut them out. It actually, ah, uh, this floral image is actually part of a bouquet, believe it or not. But I didn't want to use the bouquet. I just wanted the flowers. I didn't want the whole image. So that's why I went through all this trouble to color and cut the flowers. I wanted to stretch them out so they would go further and I wanted more of them. So I cut them in half lengthwise, placed them on either side of the picture with some more sewing thread I do believe as well. And then later on I'm going to add some more floral clusters to the top and the bottom of the layout base as well. Right now I'm just adding a little bit more stamping to the title. Girl wasn't long enough, it's pretty short. And I wanted to highlight what a goof 
my daughter is. The look on her face just absolutely kills me. And I was trying to capture that in this layout, but it totally went in a different direction than I had planned on and ended up becoming more sweet and um, syrupy, I guess, than my original plan. So from the same stamp set that the flowers came from, it's actually a new stamp set to Close to My Heart and to me as well. It's available only in the month of February called Cherishing Her. I used some of the greetings and sentiments that were part of the stamp set to finish off the title. I also added some chipboard accents to this layout as well. I've had them in my stash for eons and it felt so good to get them used up. It's got me thinking I might start uh, series here on YouTube. I think I'm going to do another quick video talking a little bit more about this um, in the near future, but I'm just going to mention it really quickly here too. Um, thinking about starting a series dealing specifically with scraps and scrapping with your scraps and getting them used up. What do you all think? I think it's a great idea. Do you? Let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up. Um, just communicate to me somehow one way or another your thoughts and what you think along those lines. And I will make sure I drop by again real soon just explaining a little bit more and going into a little more detail about that whole thing. So the tendrils that I'm adding to the layout now actually come from a totally different stamp set. It has been in my stash for quite a while. And I stamped them in black on some more pieces of white cardstock and then fussy cut them out and I'm just sprinkling them around the page. It adds another pop of black, which I absolutely love. I love how dark and bold this layout is with all the blacks in it. And I also love that it helps fill up the page a little bit more too because it felt kind of empty and bland without them. Right now I'm working on adding some um, the embellishment clusters to the top and the bottom of this layout. I cut those borders with thin cuts. They've been in my stash for a little while. They are also from close to my heart, but I don't particularly know if they are available anymore or not. Um, but creating a scallop border like that is really easy. You can use your die cutting machine. You can use punches if you have them. There's a lot of different ways. Even those uh, fancy scissors that we used to have with all the different patterns on them, that would work too. And then I'm just adding the flowers, like I mentioned earlier, uh, to the top and the bottom, along with some sewing thread and foam squares. I'm just going to point out here too that the pattern paper that is in the background with the little hearts on it, the border at the very top of it is actually the zip strip and belongs on the paper. You have the choice of cutting it out or using it. It's actually the inspiration for the colors of the flowers that I used in this layout. I decided to save it and use it this way because I absolutely loved the colors and how it looked and it added to the layout as well. And what do you think of the overlap, overlapped stamped title? Isn't it great? And it's so simple to do. With that, my layout is pretty well done. I'm just working on adding the date right now. I stamped it on just a tiny little piece of white cardstock and then decided I was going to mat it on some blue cardstock as well. I just used my date stamp to create the title and I'm creating just a tiny little tab um, for the date. I'm just playing around with placement. I wasn't really sure where I wanted to put it, but in the end I leave it on the left hand side of the photo near the top. I thought it looked pretty great there. And with that, the layout is done. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. There are some uh, close-ups at the end of this video, so if you would like to hang out for just a few minutes more, there will be that at the end of the video. 
And also, like I said earlier, if you're interested in checking out my blog posts, I will have the link to my blog in the description box down below as well. So definitely feel free to come check that out as well. Oh, I guess I'm going to be adding some journaling here, which is also something else I always add to my layouts. I'm just using a journaling pen that I have had in my stash for eons. And I'm just jotting down a couple little thoughts about Miss Addison. And then after I've got that done, I just use my pen to cover the lines that I made in my pencil so that they're not noticeable. And with that, <laughs> the layout is done. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with me for a bit. If you'd like to see more videos like this, that would be awesome. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit the little bell so that you don't miss any other videos from me. I will be back again very soon. Talk to you again. Bye.